Hey guys, Caitlin McDonald here with the Social Speak Network. And in today's video, we're gonna be diving into some Enfold theme customizations uh, to change the logo position on your header. So recently we have had quite a few requests, actually the past three or four websites that we've done, uh, where the client has a preference to have the logo rather than on one side or the other or above the menu, have the logo actually nested in the menu itself. Um, so centered on the page with menu items on either side. One example of this is Brene Brown's website, for example, um, but there are thousands of other sites that have this. Unfortunately, in the Enfold theme settings, this is not something that is pre-built. Maybe someday there will be a customization for it, um, but for now we just use CSS. So let me dive in and share my screen so that you can see what we do to make the menu in the center. So again, here we have Renee Browns and the logo is just in the center with three links on either side. And if we take a look at the header positions that we can choose in Enfold. There's the, the logo left, the logo right, the logo above the menu, the logo centered above the menu or below the menu, uh, but there's no customization again for it to appear right here in the center with menu items on one side and the other. The good news is within their documentation um, for the Enfold theme, there actually is the CSS that you are going to be utilizing that makes it so that the logo is positioned in the center, after the nth element in the menu, there is a space, and then the rest of the, the menu items exist. So it's really easy uh, and it's easy to implement. So I just copied the CSS and you have to just make sure that the menu um, and logo position is logo left and menu right. So that's what we have right here. We're gonna be putting the logo after the second one, so right here before the blog and start here. So in general styling, you just click that, scroll down to the quick CSS and paste this. Now the one thing that you have to change here is this X value should be however many you want on one side versus the other. So just make it that middle number. Another thing um, is that this margin, right? This is the amount of space that you need for the logo. And then under this header logo image, it's the max width here. So I'm just gonna make it a little bit bigger uh, for both of those. So add a little bit of padding and then also make the image a little larger. We're gonna save changes. Once that's saved, I will go ahead and refresh. And as you can see here, the logo is now in the center. I'm actually gonna remove the search features. We don't have, um, have that here, so just give me one second. I always click on the wrong one. Here we go. Perfect. Now in one example that we've done, and now it does look more centered without that there, um, is here we also had the social links, and we'll probably end up adding the social links on here too. So we wanted to make sure that these social links appeared where they should, uh, because by default, once you have this heading um, set up with the logo in the middle, these links actually go right behind the logo, so you don't want them there. So all you have to do is you just have to make sure that they're floating right rather than left. So let me just show you the CSS code that we put in for that. Unfold. And then again, the general styling. We're gonna go down. And this is just the code that I added. So making sure that the Top nav social bookmarks are float right. Um, one other thing just to point out about the CSS for the logo center split menu uh, is that there is a min width for this uh, CSS to kick in. So basically what this is saying is um, if the 
website is larger than 780 pixels, it will display this way. Otherwise, it will display um, a little different. So it will have the burger menu. So let me just kind of pull this over so that you can see this. So it's still the same, still the same, still the same. And then it automatically defaults to having the burger menu on the side. So this is just a great way to make sure that it remains responsive as well. So I hope that this has been helpful. The link to the CSS and these customizations right here in the Enfold documentation will just be below in the description here. And of course, if you have found this video to be useful and helpful as you are uh, designing and developing with your Enfold uh, theme on the WordPress website, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and I look forward to seeing you next time.